And I said, it probably would be good if I find the right summation to give you. Ah, let's sum this one. They're going to use the letter J from starting at the 22nd to the 50th term. And your formula for this particular situation is 4J plus 7. Now, the big question is, I've got to sum up for a lot of terms. I don't want to sit there and write out all those terms. So technically this is saying I should put 22 in here and get a number, plus put 23 in there and get the number, plus 24 in there, 25 in there. And I should keep putting all the numbers in there until I get 50. Yeah. I mean, you could do it, but it would be a little tedious. The problem is, though, we know how to find the sum of arithmetic series, but is this arithmetic? How do you know if it's going to be arithmetic? Yeah. You can test it. Okay. If I put 22 in there, that'd be 88 plus 7, that's 95. If I put 23 in there, did I write that right? <laughs> 88 plus 7 is 95. Yeah, I'm right. Okay. If I put 23 in there, 23 times 4 is 92 plus 7, that's 99. If I put 24 in there, that's 96 plus 7 is uh, 103. No. Yeah. But they're going, going up by it. Going up by it. But why? No. What, about, what about this formula tells you it's going up by 4? Four? Four. Yeah, you're taking 4 times the variable. So it's going to be, if you're multiplying number times your variable, it's going to be arithmetic. It's going to go up by 4. Look at this one up here we already did. The 2n minus 3, what was it going up by every time? What number was in front of the variable? Two. Two. So if it's got a number, I forget what letters I used on your journal, but if it's in the form, if you have a summation, you have, did I write PI? I forget what letters I used. Yes. I used P's and Q's. So if you've got a summation and you're going I is from one to whatever, if you are multiplying times the variable, you know it's arithmetic immediately. Geometrics that we're going to do next time, there's a definite way to identify them as well. But if you're multiplying times the variable, it's arithmetic. So you actually do not have to sit here and sub these numbers in. You can just immediately try to hold it. I need the sum of these numbers. Do we know how to quickly find the sum of these numbers? Yeah. Using which formula? The sum formula. All you have to do is fill in the sum formula. Now, here's the question. How do I find out what these things are? Mm. Well, yeah, but we're, we're not summing all 50. We're only summing from 22 to 50. So. First term must be 95, right? Why is the first term 95? Yes. And so when you want the first term, all you have to do is fill that first number in, and that'll give you the first term. And so he's correct. We got 95. Last term would be... Well, what I have to do is still get the last term. Or term Yeah. Put the top number in. You want the last term? Put the top number in. That's going to tell you the last term. Why is that? Uh, what, what is it? Well, 4 times 50 is 200, plus 7 is 207. The one, so I may have to do a little convincing on it. How do I figure out how many terms that's going to be? 50 minus 22. Okay, which would be 50 minus 22 would be 28. Do you all buy that? No. Well, J. Guys? The 22 was your starting term. Yes. If I say go from 1 to 10, how do we? How many numbers will there be there? How many terms will there be from 1 to 10? We know if we go from 1 to 10, there's 10 numbers out there. Yeah. But if you subtract them, what do you get? 
9. Whenever you want to know how many numbers are in between two, you have to subtract them and add one, and add one back. Yes. So 10 minus 1 is 9. Add one back so is 10. So you always do subtract the two numbers and add one back. So in this case, yeah, we would go 50 minus 22 and add one back. So it's going to be 29 numbers. What now? I started on the 22nd term, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, that's the 22nd term. Yeah, it's like I'm saying I'm starting at 22. Instead of starting at the first. And so then you would have to crunch that number out. <laughs> do I know? Do I know? 4 to 5, 4 by 2. Yeah. Yes, I am. All right, we're good. How long has that been incorrect? 